Recently, we've noticed successful deaf actors appearing on television, in movies and plays. But we haven't seen the deaf artists at work creating a painting or sculpture. They work alone in their studios, facing many challenges. Deaf Mosaic recently visited the Deaf Artists of America Gallery in Rochester, New York. DAA, founded by Tom Willard and Tracy Floyd, is a national nonprofit corporation by and for deaf artists. Two years ago, Tom and Tracy chose Rochester as the home of a deaf art movement. It has two important ingredients, a large deaf population of over 50,000 people and a very strong arts community. From their empty new office, they began the task of collecting information on deaf artists and contacting them to become members. Among the many services they provide is a place for deaf artists to sell their artwork. Each piece of art reflects the creator. Artists choose shapes and colors to express a theme, idea, or emotion. Some artists want to emphasize a masculine mood or a feminine mood. Some pieces become political expressions. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You look at artwork, it's hard to tell, oh, that's a deaf artist's work. We're trying to encourage deaf people to be more aware of the deaf culture when they create their artwork. And think about deaf theme. Try to come up with artwork that expresses what it feels like to be deaf. DAA is working to increase recognition of deaf arts in the city. The gallery now hosts exhibits, provides classes, and often the artists work together to prepare the exhibits, workshops, and give performances. The gallery has quickly become a cultural center as well as the hub for a network of deaf artists. A recent exhibit focused on the work of deaf women artists. Presently, there is an exhibit of over 50 artworks from across the country being used as part of a fundraising event. Deaf Artists of America doesn't only provide gallery space for deaf artists, but also works with local museums and galleries promoting interaction between deaf and hearing artists. DAA is building bridges by creating an exchange among deaf artists and between deaf and hearing artists. Artists may now work alone, but they won't have to feel alone. Okay, there are three important goals, opportunity, visibility, and accessibility. The organization also functions as a clearinghouse for those looking to commission deaf artists for specific projects or hire them full time. We hope that deaf artists so now can give them the visibility that they deserve. DAA currently has over...